Hi, this is Gary Rosenzweig. You know it's a dangerous internet out there, right? Well, let's take a look at exactly why it's so dangerous as we examine phishing on this episode of MacMost Now. So what is phishing? Well, first of all, phishing, spelled with a PH, is a con technique. Basically, somebody's trying to con you out of information. So you get an email from something that looks like a company or a person that you may know or do business with. It looks fairly normal, but it's just a trick. It's just the same as if somebody would call you on the phone and say claim they were from your bank and ask you for personal information. It's just an email that's doing the same thing. So this email can look exactly like an email from your bank, say, or an internet website that you do business with. And it may claim that you need to log on to the website to give you information. Now, the trick comes when you actually click on a link inside this email. You think you're going to the website that you trust, but in fact you're being redirected somewhere else. Let's go and take a look at exactly how this works. Okay, so here's an email that seems to have come from Citibank. Citibank, of course, is a well-known credit card company and bank with lots of different services. And you may, in fact, do business with them. Matter of fact, the con artist here is counting on that because they expect that if they send this out to a million people, that a good number of them will actually think that maybe it's a real email from Citibank. If you look at it closely though it sort of falls apart. It actually says it's from City Business Customer Service and it's a very plain email. And it says something about uh, there's a scheduled maintenance program and uh, uh, filling out this online form is very important. And there's a link that you can click on. Let's go and take a look closely at this link. If we roll over it we can see that there's a little window that pops up and tells us what the link actually is. And instead of it being to Citibank it actually is a city business dot citibank.com and then there's something after it. Let's go take a closer look by simply doing command option U and we can view the source for this. And if we look through the source we can find out where that actual link is. Sometimes it's hard to find but doing a search for href will find it really quickly. And here it is. So we can see here that it looks like it's citybusiness.citibank.com but in fact it isn't. It is citybusiness.citibank.com dot f g and a whole bunch of weird characters dot hk. So you don't have to pay any attention to the stuff that comes before the final bit. The final bit here, the country code, and the right thing right before it is the actual domain name. So that's where you're really going is to this very odd strange website. All the stuff before it is nothing. Here's another email. This one seems to be from Bank of America, another company a lot of people do business with. They even take some of the graphics from Bank of America and stick them there. And you can see here they've done something even more clever. They've actually put a link that looks like it's just a URL right inside of the email. So you look at it and you say, well this does say bankofamerica.com. That looks good. But if you roll over it you can see that in fact it's not going there. This is a link just like a link that might say click here. Except that it looks like URL and actually goes to something else dot US. And we can look at the source for that too. And we could find out where that is. And there it is. There's the bad URL. So we can know this is in fact an attempt at phishing. Here's another one. This one comes from eBay, or it seems to come from eBay. It uses some graphics and may even look like an email that you may have gotten before from eBay. But if we go and we take a look at the source, we can see that indeed it doesn't. But what they've done here is they've done some interesting things like in the graphic is actually being served from ebay.com. They're stealing it. But if you actually go look at the link you can see that it definitely is not something you want to click on. It's a strange URL uh, at another country. A lot of times these emails try to scare you. Here's one that looks kind of official from PayPal and it says that your PayPal account has been suspended. It gives you a case ID and all sorts of things. Look very official. Even copies a lot of the things that you would find at the bottom of a regular email. They basically take a regular PayPal email and they modify it for their own uses. And it says please click here to restore your account access. But if we go and we take a look inside we see that indeed it goes to a URL in another country. It's very easy to spot. So how do you protect yourself against this? Well it's actually very easy. First thing is never trust anything that comes in an email right off the bat. Make sure it's real. Especially if it's got a link in it. Especially if it's from something that includes your sensitive information like a bank or an account on a website like eBay, PayPal, Amazon, anything like that. Be suspicious right away. The next thing you want to do is you never want to click on a link in an email. Just never do it. For instance if you get a link to your bank in an email instead of clicking on that link 
go to your web browser and type the domain name for your bank or use a bookmark that you should have. Something you trust so you're not actually linking the email to what you're doing on your website. If it is a real offer or a real piece of information from your bank you'll be able to log into your bank account without the email normally and find that information in there. And when in doubt you can always call. If it's from your bank or it's from an online website that you have an account with you can always call them and say hey I got this email and I'm not sure whether it's real or not. And they'll tell you. But remember if somebody calls you don't give out any information on the phone. If somebody calls you say from your bank the first thing you want to do is go and say let me give you a call back and call the number that you have on the back of your card or your account statement. So there are some quick tips about how to keep yourself safe online. Till next time this is Gary Rosenzweig at MacMostNow. Now.